Okay, uh, let's do it. Like I said, uh, it's 9 a.m. Uh, 9 a.m. is always uh, is always a good time to start. We are we are fresh. So everybody has the PPT, right? Everybody has the PPT. Uh, did you read it before coming to class? No. Oh, Maria <laughs> Oh. Oh no, pali pali. So uh, again, it's very important to, to read the PPT because I take a time to prepare them and make them simple. I don't put many things there because I want to take a time to explain more in class uh, so that you fully understand, okay? I really take a time to prepare, you know, uh, some of the things and, you know, remove some things. So that is very, very simple. But like I said, chapter one and two, if you never took nutrition class before, don't worry, okay? Uh, because I think we have people from different departments in our class. This is the best class in campus. Everybody knows that, right? So uh, uh, chapter one and two will put everybody in the same level, okay? Chapter one and two is gonna just be introduction to nutrition what do we mean by nutrition, and then we, uh, uh, we go from there, all right? So chapter one is an uh, overview, uh, overview of nutrition, and um, you know, uh, if you check on your PPT, uh, so we, we usually ask the question, why, why do we eat the food that we eat, okay? Do you guys eat this morning? Yes. Yeah. Uh, only the guys ate? <laughs> The ladies did not eat? You guys did not eat? Wow. But all the guys in the class ate, right? So, okay, Peter, what did you eat this morning? I eat bread with eggs. Oh, uh, bread and eggs. Wow. Is it a typical Korean breakfast or it's different? It depends. It depends, huh? Yeah. Okay, what did you eat? I ate kimchi. Oh, interesting. Why? Why? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Why not? <laughs> this is a this is a perfect answer. Why not? And we will see that in a in a in a few minutes, right? Uh, Peter had a different kind of a westernized breakfast, and he has a typical kind of Korean breakfast, right? Yes. Yeah. So this is why he say why not, and we'll understand maybe why he say it, right. Uh, very interesting. So, so we ask the question. Uh, we ask the question regarding uh, the reason why we eat the food that we eat. Okay. So, uh, one of the reasons we may have personal preferences that is associated with our taste, right? Uh, some people, you know, they like things that are sweet. Other people like things that are salty. But in general, in general, you know, taste. Taste is the number one reason people eat the food that they eat, okay? In general, just remember that in general, uh, you know, taste is the number one reason. Uh, everybody has a favorite food. Couple years ago, my favorite food was uh, cheesecake. And then the doctor told me, oh, cholesterol. <laughs> 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 you know? And uh, so, I start to worry about my health. So uh, when I first started here, you know, sometimes uh, I was eating cheesecake maybe like once or twice a week. Okay, mainly because of the taste. All right. So uh, uh, taste is actually most of the time the number one reason we eat the food that we eat. We may call it like I put on the board here personal preferences. Uh, number two, we have habits. You know, uh, uh, something you know, just become part of us. And then we have uh, ethnic heritage and or tradition, okay? And that's the part when he said, why not, uh, that we may tease him a little bit about it, all right? So, because if I ask you, why do you eat kimchi? Anybody knows why you eat kimchi every day here in Korea? Do you know why? Taste. Taste? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah, because? It's very, it's very tasty. Yes. Wow. Is, is kimchi your favorite food? 
one of them. One of them. Wonderful. All right. So now let's look at it. Let's look at the kimchi case. All right. Let's look at the kimchi case. As you know, uh, we have Koreans born in Korea, and we have you know Koreans born in Canada or in the U.S. So what is your opinion? Do you think that these young Korean of your age also love kimchi the way you do? No? No. Why do you think so? So, at first I said like it depends. Yeah. It depends on the family. Oh, yeah. It depends on mom. Yeah. So. Exactly. So your mom told you, kimchi, okay, many more go. So this is what we're talking about. We're talking about ethnic heritage or tradition. All right? So even though uh, kimchi today is tasty for us, it may not be tasty for Korean who grew up in Vancouver, Canada, right? So, so it's the tradition is the cultural inheritance, okay? If you go to Canada today to live there, the first week you're probably excited, so second week you're kind of excited, you try all kind of food, but at one point of time you're just gonna be like, I'm missing kimchi, right? So, so, so food, uh, food habits, is the last thing people want to change, okay? A couple of weeks ago, I was in my home country in Gabon, in Central Africa, and when they brought me this traditional food, I was very excited because I don't have the opportunity to eat these foods here, okay? So uh, this is why we're talking about ethnic heritage and uh, tradition. We also have uh, social interactions. Uh, for example, we have a party uh, you know, sometimes students have parties in a dormitory. Most of the time, when students have parties in dormitory, uh, it's not necessarily kimchi that they eat, right? What do they usually order as food? Chicken, chicken yeah, chicken, pizza, and uh, so even if you don't really, you know, need to do things because of the social <coughs> interaction and gathering, you will be prompt to try some of this food, okay? Uh, the other one that we have is availability, convenience, and economy. If you take the full, uh, the class, food science with me, I explain uh, that part of uh, that part uh, in details because we have a full chapter on it on food choices. Mm -hmm. But today, uh, for this chapter, we just give like a general overview. Uh, availability is what you have. Uh, uh, in front of you. Convenience, uh, we spoke uh, with another lady in uh, the other class. Uh, yesterday she had a burger and the reason was it was convenient, you know. Easy access, you know. Bali, bali, don't have to wait, you know. It's, it's there. And we also talk about the economy, we talk about the money. And the question that I asked yesterday is if you talk about, if you talk about obesity, right, uh, we may ask the question, uh, which population is likely to be obese? Poor or rich people? What do you think? If you talk, if you talk, for example, we have uh, we have uh, we have the problem. We have the problem of obesity, all right. <clears throat> and then we wonder. Which population, which population is likely to be obese? Poor. Poor people? Yes. Interesting. Why? Why? Yeah. Why do you think poor people are likely to be obese? Because they are not likely to be care about their health. So, just when they have something to eat, just eat. Or when they have something to eat, they just eat. Yeah. But what do they eat? What? What kind of food do they eat? Junk food. Junk food, interesting. All right, uh, another answer. Anybody has a, a different answer, different opinion? Who's likely to be poor, uh, obese? Poor people or rich people? Rich people. You say rich people. Why? <coughs> ah, okay. So what she says, what she says is rich people. They have much more money, and they have more opportunity to eat whatever they want, okay? Now, I may say, uh, both of you are right, okay? 
Peter gave me a very interesting answer yesterday. Um, we may just add that it may depend of the country. It may depend of where you live. I give you a very simple example. Okay. Um, we have here, for example, we talk about the USA, okay? And we may talk about a very poor country that uh, we leave uh, on them. If you look at it, if you go to a, a fancy restaurant, what is actually more expensive, but it's probably better food. But what is happening here is, if you go to some, uh, you know, fast food restaurant, the food is cheaper, maybe what's on five dollars, all right. But this low quality food, all right, is actually we have what we may call more calories into this type of food. This is what we mentioned about junk food, right? Yes. So junk food is likely to help us accumulate energy. Now I'm talking about many different things at the same time. Uh, just remember that in this class. If I say energy, we're talking about calories. Okay, okay? For those of you who never took a nutrition class, very important to you know start to register that. Okay? So in this class, if I say energy, I'm talking about calories, right? So uh, we will see that basically we get energy from the food. Okay, we get the calories from the food. Okay, okay? Now if you go to some poor countries, what is happening here is when people are poor, usually they are really poor, they have nothing to eat. All right? They don't have much to eat. So these people are not usually obese. They are actually slender. And when we will study the protein, we will talk about cases like Kwashiorkor, we we'll talk about cases like marasmus. Okay? Deficiency of nutrients. Okay, I'm introducing uh, different words at the same time. When I talk about, uh, I hope you read the PPT, all right? Uh, here, I'm not talking about nutrients. Okay, guys? So, what is a nutrient? Very simple definition. Very simple definition. These are substances. These are substances that are found in, in the food, right? And the body that the body needs, right? To grow, right? Uh, to grow, uh, repair if you want. Basically, uh, the, bo the body the body needs the body needs these nutrients to survive. Okay, okay. So we get the nutrients, we get the nutrients from the food. Alright? So these nutrients give us energy. Not, not all of them. We're not gonna talk about uh, the we're not gonna talk about uh, the nutrients in a, in a few minutes. So People sometimes who are very poor, depending on the country, they're really, really poor. Deficiency of nutrients, absence of nutrients, and then they cannot grow. They cannot <laughs> be overweight or obese. And in some rich countries, the poor still have access to a little bit of food. Okay? And I will give a new definition uh, in a few minutes. Like I said, these first two chapters are very important in terms of taking definitions before we move forward. Okay? Uh, then we talk about the question of food security, having access of food at all time. All right? I will, I will write the definition. Don't worry about it. Okay? So, in the U.S., we say, okay, the poor are well, likely to be obese. Okay? Uh, and in some countries, uh, like you mentioned, culturally speaking, and I teach that in the, in the class food and culture, rich people tend to be obese. Okay? And being obese 
is synonymous with prosperity, meaning that, oh, I'm wealthy, and, you know, I'm well to do. Okay? So it depends on the country, it depends on the culture. All right, uh, social interactions and positive and negative association is, is similar. We talk about positive and negative associations, as you know, especially for, for young men. Uh, we see that a lot in schools where uh, young people start smoking uh, because of their friends. Okay? Uh, they start drinking uh, because of their friends. All right? uh, so we talk about uh, uh, positive or negative uh, uh, associations here. Uh, another example are emotions. You know, sometimes when, when you are bored in your house, shimshime, what do you do? You just eat, all right? Or when Professor Robian says, oh, next week we have a quiz. Oh my gosh, stress. Mani <laughs> mogo. All right? So, so sometimes we may be prone to eat a lot because of our, uh, uh, because of our uh, emotions. Another example is our values. Again, in the class food and culture, I, uh, I have a full chapter on this one, uh, depending, for example, of your religion. Right? Let's take a very simple example of two religions. We talk, for example, about Islam, the Muslim. They don't eat pork. Okay? Uh, like I often say, religion, religion and culture uh, are, 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 are similar. The, the, the main difference, the main difference is religion will tell you how to cook the food. Okay? Culture and religion will tell you this food is good, this food is not good. Okay? Uh, for example, uh, we talk about the Jews, the Jewish in Israel, right? Like the Muslims, they don't eat pork. But something particular about the meat, if they have to eat another meat, the religion will say, for example, do not mix milk and meat okay okay and sometimes uh, if you go to some cities where we have a big Jew uh, communities uh, you sometimes they have two kitchen right really separate the meat and the dairy product okay so these are things that uh, when you talk about values religions belief these are things that are important like I said if you work in a hospital setting, uh, don't sound hospital as a nutritionist, you have to be very careful about the food that you give to people. If you meet an Hindu uh, from India, most of them don't eat the cow. All right? They may drink the milk, but they won't eat the cow. So we have to really be careful. Uh, as you know, like I said, the country is changing. Korea is changing. And we have people from different countries coming with different values. And we also have uh, people who have <coughs> sympathies for animals, like the vegans. Okay? Uh, they may say, oh, we don't eat any animals. Animals are our friends. Even they don't even wear animal products. Okay? The shoes, the clothes, they don't. All right? So these are things that are happening in our society. Of course, we also have body weight and image so you will eat your food uh, based on you know oh I want to lose some weight so I have to be careful about what I eat or I want to gain some weight for example guys want to have more muscles okay let me get more protein let me do this and that okay and the last one the last one is the focus of our class this semester nutrition and health benefit Okay, okay? Yes. Nutrition and health benefit is the focus of our class this semester. Alright guys? So, meaning that what we put in our body, we have to think if it, it is good for me or not. Okay? Uh, it doesn't matter. Whatever you put into your body, something will happen. Either good or bad. Alright? either good or bad, but let us focus on that uh, yet. So guys, I talk to you 
I talk to you about the nutrients, right? So what did I say? I say that the nutrients, these are substances that we find in the food. Okay? And the body, right, uh, needs this nutrient in order to survive, in order to grow, and also repair itself. Okay? Now, on the PPT, you saw, you can see, I put in green, essential nutrient essential nutrient if i say essential nutrient what does it mean anybody has an idea essential nutrient anybody must yeah i mean uh must yeah to some extent yes So what do you mean, like nutrition elements or, so for example, protein, yeah. vitamin? Uh-huh. Okay, now, like that. yes, yes. Uh, now you are listing them. Uh, he's, he's listing uh, the six nutrients that we have now. Uh, and, and, and we'll go over them, you know, how do we classify them, okay? Basically, when we say essential, you know, Basically, like you said, it's kind of a must, and we need to obtain them from external sources. So we must get them from the food, because the body will not make them. Okay? Because the body will not make them, so I need to get them somewhere. If I don't get them, then I'm nutrient deficient. Okay? So we call them essential like we say must but let's let's look at these nutrients we have two ways to classify them okay uh, the first one is what you see on your board uh, so we have we are basically <clears throat> the first the first family we have the micronutrients okay and then we have the uh, the second group, the micro, macronutrients. All right. What does it mean? Big. Big. So remember, here the macronutrients are nutrients that we need in big quantities. Okay, okay macro big and then we have micro is like microscope right so meaning small quantity we don't need big chunk of them but we need them so now the classification in terms of macronutrients all right we give them uh, two orientation the first one is Oh, okay. We need them. Um, we need them in bigger quantities. Another way, another way to classify the macronutrients. We also recognize them. How do we recognize them? We also call them um, energy. Energy yielding nutrient or energy producing nutrient, meaning that we get energy from these nutrients. Okay, okay? Mm -hmm. Understand, guys? Number one, we need them in big quantities. And number two, oh yeah, they give us energy. Remember, guys, when I say energy, we're talking about calories. Wonderful. Alright? So What are the macronutrients? Anybody remembers what are the macronutrients? Mm. So we have we have the protein, carbohydrates. What else? 
And then we have fat. I mean, you can also say uh, lipids, which is a scientific name. Uh, in the class food science, I make a little bit of a difference um, when you talk a little bit about fat, and then I talk about oil. Uh, so lipid is scientific name for all of them. Uh, fat, we're talking about solid stage, right? Water, solid, and then the oil, liquid. Okay. If you take the, the class four science, we go in details into it, not into this class. All right. Now, uh, the micronutrients, the micronutrients, also too, where we say, okay, this one, what small quantity, right? And then the, the second particularity is what? No, no energy. Okay, okay. So now, in the micro, which one do we have? Minor minerals. So, okay, we have minerals, very good. And what else? Vitamins. Vitamins. Okay, guys. Okay, okay. Everybody's happy? All right. Now, there's one nutrient that is missing. The most important one, all right? What is the most important nutrient in the world? Water. water. Now, where do we put water? Macro or micro? Anybody? Water. In the middle. Ah, in the middle. Good one. <laughs> it needs big quantity, but doesn't have energy. Very good, very good. He said, he says, we need water in big quantity, but he has no energy. So I'm just gonna put it in the middle. All right, <laughs> wonderful. All right, somebody has a different opinion? Different opinion? Okay, so uh, very good approach. Um, yeah, we need water in big quantity, as you know. Uh, you know how much water we need every day? How much we need to drink every day? You don't know? Two, two liters. Or oh, two liters? Yes. Oh. I, I, I. You, you just guessed? Yes. Don't worry. So we'll, uh, we, we'll know exactly how much water each person needs as we keep going along. Uh, this is a very important question. Overall, people say two liters, but it will truly depend on, uh, we'll say, your weight, your physical activity level, and sometimes the season of the year. Okay, but we'll do some of these calculations. Oh my gosh, time is flying. Let's go pali pali. All right, let's finish with our water thing. For this class, for this class, we'll put water on the macro nutrient. For this class, it's possible that some people we call put it like uh, on the micro because it doesn't give you any energy, right? But for this class, we'll put water here. Okay, okay? So saying that, how much calorie, one gram of protein, uh, how much one gram of protein give me in terms of calories? Four. So we have four here, kilocalorie. Okay, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, carbohydrates, how much? Four. Four? How much for fat? Nine. Nine. Let's talk about soju, alcohol. How much energy we get from alcohol? How much do we get from it? Seven. Seven. Why are you guys laughing? When I say alcohol, everybody is happy. Why? Why are you happy when I mention alcohol? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I found a secret. When I want you guys to be happy, I just have to say soju. <laughs> right? Now, good, good point here. We're talking about nutrient given, giving us energy. Is alcohol a nutrient? Is alcohol a nutrient? Yes or no? No. No. Okay, no. Okay. Let's come back to this one. Distribution of a nutrient is what? A substance we find in the food that will help our body grow, our body repair, our body to survive. So nutrients are good for us. Okay, okay? So why do you drink soju? <laughs> I'm asking. 
Why are you guys into, why do you drink alcohol every weekend if it's not good, if it's not a nutrient? Remember, our last point was, right, nutrition and health. This is our focus. What I put in my body must be good for me. So why in the world are you drinking alcohol every weekend? That's just a, a question. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> let's move on. Uh, I would like us, I would like us to do a small uh, calculation here. Okay, okay. I hope uh, you read the PPT because I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go slide by slide. Um, you know, because some of the things uh, we saw them already. We'll see another. Uh, don't worry about this one uh, because of the time. I would like us to do a small calculation uh, quickly in terms of. Um, Um, in, 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 in terms of um, calculating uh, the energy that we need, okay? So, I didn't bring like, uh, we'll study also about the food level, how to read a food level when you go to the store, like I told you, uh, the energy that we get, how much are you getting um, into your body. Oh, I still have 20 minutes. I think we can do a lot of good stuff still, right? Uh, you guys are not sleeping, right? Okay, that's good. 9 a.m. class is actually very, very fun. Okay, now, you go to the store. You go to the store, and uh, what do you buy? Um, so you buy a cereal box, okay? So you go to the store. <coughs> so you have, you have a cereal box here, okay? Usually, when you, uh, sometimes I like going to Costco because everything is in English, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I can read a little bit and uh, yeah, so um, so you get your cereal box and sometimes uh, you have like uh, different packs inside, you know, or cookies if you want. You guys like cookies, right? We talk about the bad stuff about it. Uh, so, but you have maybe like, let's say five box inside, but you're going to have something like this. Uh, we talk about... Um, you, you will talk, you, you will hear something about uh, uh, ser the, this word, serving, right? Uh, you see on the box, probably say like, okay, five serving, maybe we have that five box inside, right? So one serving is like one box of, uh, you know, exactly. So now this is what we have. I'm, put, I'm putting here, I'm putting here, uh, I put it here total total calories total calorie per serving. Okay guys? And when I talk about serving here, I, I mentioned five. So five little boxes inside. Everybody follows? I didn't bring, I didn't bring my uh, you know Costco thing. But so you are like the serving and then you have like your cereal box and then you have these small, um, you know. I buy these things, you guys know that the quaker, you know, the oatmeal, oatmeal, oatmeal arayo. Mm -hmm. huh? Okay, so, now, um, so you have, uh, so this is what you have on the cereal box. I'm gonna write, I'm gonna write everything on the cereal box. Uh, maybe let's, next time I'll put you the picture so you can see. But just you know, on the cereal box, this is why what you have on the label here. Um, I put here total fat. In Korean, it's the same thing. Uh, nobody has cookies. Usually, people eat stuff. Everybody, everybody has some water this morning. This is a good class. Mm -hmm. That's good. All right. So total fat. Uh, total fat. I put here three gram. Okay, guys. Uh, so, and then I have uh, total, total carbs. As you know, when I say carbs, I mean carbohydrates. Okay, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, total carbs, I have 32 grams. All right? All right, so this is, the keyword here is total. Meaning that inside we have some little things. But let me just put some those little things for now. Hopefully, we'll have a time to go over it. Uh, so I put here, uh, I put here, 
dietary fiber. <coughs> Uh, dietary fiber, I put here uh, 4 gram, and then I put here sugar, okay, uh, sugar, I'm going to put uh, 11 gram, and then I have here protein, okay, protein, I'm going to put 3 gram, okay, okay, everybody's happy? Alright, so question number one. Calculate, uh, question number one, so I want to know, uh, I want to know calorie per serving, okay? Number two, uh, total, total calories, okay? Number three, uh, Alright, so number three, what is the percentage uh, percentage of fat? Number four, uh, percentage percentage of protein. Okay. Number five, uh, percentage of carbs. Okay, let me put number six. Number six, percentage of sugar. Okay, okay? Okay, guys. It should take us maybe five, ten minutes. Let's try to do it. So what I say percentage, what is, you know, so we want to know what is the number of calorie per serving. Like I said, Serving is one small box out of the big box. So we have five small boxes inside the big one. Okay? Everybody understand? I'm confusing. Confused? Yeah. yeah, go ahead. So, actually, I don't know how to like convert yeah. gram to to Calorie. Yeah, it, this is a uh, good, good, good question. This is what we saw in the beginning. Uh, remember to take the notes. We say that when we talk about protein, what did I say? I said one gram of protein gives me how many kilocalories here? Four. Exactly. Yeah, but I mean, you didn't mention about dietary fever and sugar thing. So I, I have no idea. Say that again? The dietary? Dietary fibers, yes. yes. And sugar. Yeah, very good question here. I said that the key, the key word, the key element here was total carbohydrates. Okay? Sugar is what? It's a carbohydrate. Okay? I didn't know. It's all good. This is why we are in school. All right? Good question. So, so, so I put here, this is what I put at the small dot. So they are part of the total thing. If I want to know specifically, if I want to know specifically how much sugar, then I will focus maybe on that particular element. But if I want to know the total for carbohydrates, then, you know, I will bypass these two and I will focus on total carbohydrates. Uh, understand now? Yes. Somebody else has a question? Is there a trap in the, in the you know, details? Uh, dietary fibers and sugar. sugar. Say that again. Sugar, no, there, there, no, there is no trap. No I'm a nice guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, you know, uh, some fibers are, uh, some fibers you can't, I, uh, you know, digest them. Digest them so. Yeah, I understand. Don't worry about that part. Uh, just use the total carbohydrate uh, part. I only gave this. More element just to tell you, okay. Also, it's like the fat. You see, I put total fat, but we I may also add saturated fat and unsaturated fat. But we haven't seen them. We haven't seen them, so I'm not mentioning any of them. So we're just doing basic calculation for today. And, and also, so yeah. are you asking the percentage of fat colors or just fat quantities? 
the percentage of fat, so you know how much fat we have, so you need to find, once you convert in terms of total energy. Other, so fat calorie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fat. Yeah, yeah. So what, okay guys, good question. Good question here. So the percentage I'm looking for here is based on energy, is based on calories. Not, not in terms of grams here, okay? Every, everybody, everybody follows me? Yeah. Remember that we had grams before. We are interested in what? In energy. Okay, guys? Yeah, as you see on my problem, I, didn't, I did not put alcohol. I'm not a big fan. Anybody Everybody's good? So, yeah, go ahead. One other question. Yeah. So when I, like, percentage is like by gram or by calorie? Calories. Oh, okay. Yeah, the percentage, the percentage is by calories. You guys, you guys, you guys look confused. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Carbohydrates. Yes. Uh. Okay, guys. Good question. She just asked me a, a good question here. She asked me the total. When I say total, is it the total on the box, or is the total per serving? Very good question. This is not total on the box. This is total per serving. Yeah, I, I did confuse you a little bit. Like, we have a big cereal box, okay? And we have like a small pack inside. So that pack, we talk about, okay, this is one serving, but we have five inside. Okay, okay? So one, one, that small box, that small box, this is what I put here per serving, per smaller box inside. Or maybe I will not call, call it box. Maybe I call it pack. Shall we agree on the word so we don't confuse? So we have, <laughs> we have, we have the big cereal, we have the, the big cereal box, okay? Yes. And then we have these small packs oh. that we're gonna call serving, okay, guys? And yeah, understood? So here, when I, the serving here, I'm talking about the small, the small packs. Oh. So probably we have the big five boxes or five packs. There is no packs. big five boxes. There's only one box. One box and five <laughs> packs. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay, guys. Hello, Anyang. All right. Hey, guys. This is, this is the cereal box. All right. And the brand, okay, the, the brand is Obia, of course. All right. This is Obian cereals. <laughs> All right. So in Obian cereals, I have Anna Abdul, Seth, Ned, Tasso. And then we have some empty space for commercial purposes. Right? You know, we have this small space here that will tell you about the cereals. How is it good for your health? I only make healthy stuff. Okay, okay. So now, Anyang, this is one serving. Okay? So all the information, all the information I put here is for one. So if I want to know, I ask you, to, the first question is calorie per serving. Okay? Number one question. Total calories is now, total calories in my <laughs> or beyond cereals box. Okay, okay? okay. All right, guys, let's do it. How much time I have here? Ten minutes? We have ten minutes before we go home. You guys want to go home or you, you want to start? Yes. You, oh, somebody said yes? <laughs> Okay, let's do it. Let, let's, let's, uh... <clears throat>
right. Uh, number one question. How much calorie do I have? Question number one. Question number one. Anybody has an answer for question number one? Okay, what? Okay, uh, can I erase this? Can I erase? Everybody's okay, I can erase it, right? Okay. Okay, so let's do question number one. Question number one, I wanted to know how many calories that I have in one serving. 167. Okay, Peter says 167. How did he do it? Tell me. Uh, first, we start with, if we start with fat, we have three grams of fat. So he put fat here, three grams of fat. Uh, and it, it has nine uh, kilocalories per fat, so. Yeah. So, between seven. so how much is it here? 27. 27. Okay, okay? Yeah. All right. Then? So in carbs, we have 32 grams of carbs. 32 grams of carbs multiplied by? Four, four, four calories. How much is it? It's 128 calories. 228? 128? Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Next? And also a protein, you have. Uh, protein? Uh, three grams of protein. Three grams of protein to blah by? Four kilocalories. And how much is it? Twelve kilocalories. Twelve kilocalories. Okay. And all of them will be one six seven. So total is one hundred and sixty seven. Sixty seven kilocalories. Mm -hmm. Very good. Everybody's happy? Now question number two, what is then the total calories here in the big box? Yeah, very good. Do you understand why? So now we just do 167 multiplied by five boxes. Oh, did I erase it? Oh, sorry. All right, so how much is it? 835. 835 kilocalories. So if you eat the old box by yourself, this is how much you put in the body. This is what it means. But usually, in a day, how much energy do we need in a day, uh, student in nutrition? How much we should eat, in average, not precisely, in average, how much energy shall we eat in a day? 1,000. Huh? 1,000. It's not 2,000. It's not 2,000? It's not. <laughs> yeah, around 2,000. 1,000. Yeah, 1,800, yeah, it depends, uh, you know, female, male, a little bit different. Uh, also, if you, you know, big, small, physically active, it's going to be different. But let's just say, in our class, for this class, for this class, we're just going to use the average of 2,000 kilocalories. Okay, okay? So for this class, we're going to say that we need around 2,000 kilocalories a day. Time is running, I'm getting happy. <laughs> when time runs in me, I just, the adrenaline goes up and... Uh, Alright, for this class, 2,000. And if you miss some stuff, go back, watch on YouTube. Okay, let's go, buddy, buddy. Alright, so now you are eating if you, you're getting bored or stressed out, you just start eating all my cereals. This is already 835 out of 2,000 that you should eat daily. But you just eat the whole thing just watching Korean drama. That's a lot. But anyways, uh, let's keep going. Question number three. Question number three is what? What is the percentage of fat? What is the percentage of fat? Question number three. Okay, guys, can I erase this? Yes. All right. Oh, my Lord. Did I forget to take attendance again? Okay, uh, I love technology, so <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna press. Oh, look, okay, I'm just gonna press on my phone. It's in 30 seconds, it should be good. Okay, let's back. Let's go back to study. Uh, what is the percentage of fat? 16.17%. How much did you get? 16.17. 16.17. Okay, okay, tell me, oh, all right, Peter, uh, slow down. Anybody has the percentage of fat? 
How much did you get? Total. Yeah, percentage of fat. Total. Uh, no, no, not the total. Per serving. Per serving. How much did you get per serving? But it will come back to the same thing if you want, uh, because you just have to multiply by five or divide by five in the same thing. Just give me per serving uh, using the 167 kilocalorie. So what is the percentage of fat? How much did you get? Try, try. I think you had the right answer. Try. Okay, tell me. What did you do? What did you do? Yeah. Uh, three. Three? Three gram? Yes. Yeah. And three, uh, thirty two gram. Mm -hmm. uh, thirty two gram? Fat. Let's focus with the fat. Fat first. Yeah, try. What do you have? Okay, what was your answer? What was your answer? 17%? How did you get it? Oh, I added 3, 32, and 3, or 2, and 14. Oh. Mm. So you, you did in grams. We have to focus on energy. Energy. One. Miss Park, how much did you get? Is it on the sale? <laughs> six point six percentage of fat. No, here you Sixteen. Okay, good. And young. Hey guys, cool down. We gotta go pali pali. Here you Okay, give me. What did you do? Don't worry about the tree that I wrote. Just tell me what you have. Okay, uh, how did you get 27? So, 3 gram multiply by, uh, by 9, right? Okay, so this, this is the part that gives you 27 kilocalorie. Okay, okay? And then what did you do? Divided by? Question 1 answer, which is 167 kilocalorie, right? And then multiply. multiply by very good. So percentage of fat, then we multiply by one hundred. Uh, remember, Anyang. Uh, so we have the energy. We had this answer before per one serving, twenty-seven kilocalorie in one small box. Okay. So what is the percentage of fat total energy in one serving? is 167 kilocalorie. Okay, guys? So you just do the 27 kilocalorie divided by 167, we we'll multiply by 100, how much is it? 16%. Okay, okay? Now, good or not good? Understand? All right, okay. So uh, we have it for protein, carbohydrate, but I'm gonna jump, uh, so you do, Okay, guys, you do the same thing for protein, you do the same thing for carbohydrates. But because I'm interested in sugar, specifically sugar, we're not talking about the dietary fibers and, you know, which are good, uh, we're going to focus on sugar. This is why we're going to focus when I told you not to have some type of sweet drinks and stuff like that. I don't want to mention that drink uh, because this is like YouTube, they may sue me, okay? <laughs> but you know we should drink that don't drink. But let's focus on the... Let's focus on the sugar. Can you do the calculation for sugar? What is the percentage of sugar in one box? Uh, so yeah, Peter. Uh, okay, guys, we talked about sugar. Uh, give me, uh, Peter, as you know, on the exam, if you just give me the answer, ping, you won't get any point. You need to give me the details, the development, your reasoning. How do you think? I must see how do you think. Procedures. Yeah, exactly. Step by step. So go ahead. So uh, in, in the total carbs, we have uh, 11 grams of sugar. So we had on the, on the on one serving of box, on uh, one box, right? Yeah, a small box. box. So we have 11 grams of sugar, right? Gram of sugar, and uh, it, 
it's a car, so it will also cost four calories. Exactly. Uh, did you guys understand what Peter just said? Uh, you know, sugar are part of the carbohydrates family. So we still multiply by four. Okay, okay. So how much did you get? So uh, if you divide that to one sixty-seven. Oh, okay. First, how much is it? Uh, forty-four. Kilocalorie. So we have forty-four kilocalorie, and then you divide by. Uh, 167. 167. Multiply by 100. Okay, how much is it here? 26 percent. 26 percent. Okay, okay. Wow, that's a lot, eh? Oh Lord Jesus, that's a lot. Anyways, uh, you know, uh, we'll we'll finish the chapter. We'll finish the chapter in the next uh, session. We're not gonna tape it. We're just gonna. We like the review part, and then we're going to check if the percentage is acceptable or not acceptable. This is how you know if you are eating too much sugar or if you are eating too much fat. We're gonna look at it. If you check your PPT, uh, if you check your PPT, you should be you should be able to see. Um, you look at the range. Quickly, quickly before we go home, quickly before you go home, you see the, this, this is the range I would like you to look at. 45 to 65 percent of calories from carbohydrates is, this is what is acceptable. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay? Uh, 20 to 35 percent of kilocalories from fat, it is okay. Uh, 10 to 35 percent of kilocalories from protein, this is what is okay. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, more than that, uh, we start to worry a little bit. Okay, okay? Okay, guys, have a nice day. Uh, like I told you, I'm going to stay here a little bit. I can review things with you if you have uh, specific questions. And uh, I would like just to check. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll check with two people that seem to be absent. And we we'll go from there. Okay, okay? Okay, guys, have a nice day. And remember, soju is not good. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right?